everyone. Welcome to our Rockstar Hour, something that we wanted to touch on today, which revolves around mental health and well-being. So with all the frustrations, I feel like they're sometimes coming through um, in this market and uh, some of the discouragement that I feel like people who are reaching out to different employers and entrepreneurs and they're just not, or business owners and they're not hearing back. This is the time to definitely stay positive. I know it's hard and being optimistic definitely involves a lot of effort, a lot of mindset work, maybe a little bit of like a meditation uh, sneak, uh, sneak in here and um, maybe a little bit of like more personal time where you can literally just kind of like chant some type of like a positive thought. Just like, I'm great. I can do this. We can do this. We're in this together. A few things that I definitely wanted to mention here that we should keep in mind in uh, elevating our well-being in current times is sleep, hydration, exercise, which could be hard for us, especially now that we're in the house. Lots of online classes is a lot of help and maybe taking a walk in your neighborhood. Definitely yes to that. And nutrition. Four kind of like main pillars, I would say sleep, exercise, nutrition, hydration, that we definitely should pay a close attention to. And not just now, but every day. But now is especially an important time where our well-being and just overall the state of our health is of primary importance. Moms who, are, who work from home, it's just um, really difficult. If your partner is around and if they're also staying home, maybe it's a little easier to manage the house workload and watching the kids and maybe taking shifts as far as like how you plan out your day and who is watching the kids when. I would also say that overall the mental health and well-being kind of just like is being separated into two different phases. It's before and after the quarantine, just like I mentioned in the beginning. Paying attention to your energy levels, to how filled up your love tank is or your energy tank, because we just absolutely cannot keep running on fumes and we cannot exhaust ourselves because then we are unable to share any of our energy ourselves, stay focused and pay attention to anyone in our family if we're absolutely exhausted. And in terms of like your life goals, so there are definitely sometimes the short-term goals, like I want to get this done in my business right now. I'm going to invest all my time and energy into this and then, you know, I'll feel better. And then right after that, we're going kind of into like a, long, a longer term goal. Well, I do want to maintain my business. Like I've done already this much. And so I definitely want to keep going to keep this financial success going in my business too, since, you know, I've already invested so much in it. And then how about we look into the overall life goals? So do you want to be around there for your grandchildren? So, you know, like if you're planning to have children or do you want to be around there for your um, younger siblings or anyone uh, for your family? Do you want to be around, not just to be there, but energetically to be available? Um, do you want to stay active? Maybe once you get um, closer to a retirement age, how basically what you're doing now is going to contribute to you being at that stage in your life where you're, you're still feeling like I've got this and I'm active and I'm happy to be with my family now that I have more time in running after success or in going after this micro purposes, short-term goals, longer-term goals, where we keep running, running, and maintaining this really busy pace. How are we going to keep track of those important values in our lives? And basically, what comes first? Is it work? Then definitely go for it. You're probably one of those like workaholics that um, work is your life. But if family is um, on the first place, then will you have the energy? Will you have the life capacity? And will your body allow you to be there for your family? down the road. So that's basically kind of like the point that I want to drive here. While definitely considering various scenarios of a micro purpose, I want to just quickly get this done. I want to push through this, you know, at this particular moment in my business. I just want to knock that thing, one thing out, or I just want to power through that real quick. And then, you know, this is when the life starts. But you end up focusing on all these micro purposes, all those shorter term goals that kind of just become your longer term goals and your longer term scenarios of life where the pace is just way too fast and it becomes increasingly harder to reset your lifestyle, to focus on the values that truly matter in life and they're truly important to us. 